Oh, he's the smartest man on earth. Give it up. Yes, thank you. You've got a question, ask Dr. Ray. I'm your pal. Ow. 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 Oh, oh, <laughs> hello out there, and welcome to another spine-tingling episode of Ask Dr. Al. I'm Dr. Al, so I guess I'll be the one you'll be asking to me over here. So why don't we hit the old mailbox, and let's see what we got. <coughs> okay, here's a query from Francis Tondalea from Walla Walla, Washington. Francis writes, said, but, 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 you, you know... I find the name Francis fascinating because it's one of those names which could either be a guy's name or it could be a girl's name. I mean, you don't know. It's it's one of those types of homogeneous names, which means sexless for you who don't know. But, you know, it's so much different than when I was a boy and kids got real names like Dave or Mary or Charlie. The kids today get names like Jerome or Catorce or The Edge, which brings me to that old saw about what's in a name. Because when you think about it, and I do quite cerebrally from time to time, which after all is relative, or so I've heard. And that reminds me of my good erstwhile friend Schrodinger and his damn cat. But that's a horse of a different persuasion. But getting back to my main point that what are some parents thinking about when they name their kids? I mean, the family next door that lives next door to me has the last name of Tennant. So what do you think they named their son? Lou. You get it? No, seriously. Do you get it? Because I didn't at first. I had to think about it. Oh yeah, he ain't gonna get teased over that one. Like growing up isn't hard enough. You gotta saddle your kid with a nom de jour like that? The que Oh, the question. I, I haven't read the question yet. Right, right. <coughs> Francis' question. She writes, uh, or he writes, Dear Dr. Rao, I've got a drip in my shower in my bathroom right off the bedroom that keeps me up all night. What can I do about it? Well, Francis, today is your lucky day. In fact, if I were you, I'd go out and buy a lottery ticket, which actually serves two purposes, you know. Not only do you have a chance to win like a gazillion dollars, yeah, that's an actual number, but, but your purchase also goes to help fund our schools. And we all know that schools are pretty good places to learn stuff or, or even get educated. So, so you have a trip in your bathroom, which keeps you up at night. Hmm. My advice would be first, try closing the bathroom door. And if that doesn't work, you might try the old standby of a pillow over your head. That could be kind of risky, especially if you have a husband or a wife that you're kind of pissed off today. You know, you could simply turn up the sound on your television or even sleep in a different room. I mean, we're not talking rocket science here. Well, that concludes another session of Ask Dr. Al. And remember, whatever your problem is, it's all relative. My head hurts, it's so funny. He's the smartest man on earth. I'm him. He's your pal. You're talking to me. If you've got a question, ask Dr. Ray. You know it, baby. Hey, I'd love to answer your question. Write to me, Dr. Al, at this email address. You can send an email or even a video. See you next time. Ouch! Ooh.